Hello, my name is Dylan, and I'm going to teach you how to find your coefficients for your partial fractions using matrices on the calculator. First off, we're going to start off with this problem right here, and I'm going to approach it as how you would usually. I'm going to separate it into our two fractions, our A fraction and our B fraction. The next step, we're going to multiply everything by the denominator. And then once you multiply it all out, you're going to get x times a minus 2a plus x times b plus 4b is equal to 3x minus 48. And now, this is where we start making our matrix. So this matrix right here is a 2 by 2. The first column represents our a variable. Our second column represents our b variable. If we happen to have a c or d variable, we're just going to continue adding more columns until we reach the the number of variables or number of columns we need. And then our rows represents, our first row represents our highest power of x. In this case, it's just going to be x. And our second row is going to represent the next lowest or next descending power. In this case, it's just going to be our constant. So, to organize this right here, I'm going to look back at this line right here we have x times a, and so it has a coefficient of one, so it goes here. We have negative two a, and so that's a constant of a, so it's gonna go right here. We have x times b, that has a coefficient of one, so it's gonna go right here. And then we have four times, or four b, and that's a constant, so that's gonna go right here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna set up a second matrix right here and this one represents the answer we're trying to get to, 3x minus 48. And so we're gonna follow the same rule right here where our first row represents our x and our second row represents our constant. So three and negative 48. So next, I'm going to type this into the calculator. So turn it on, go to second matrix. We're going to go to edit. We're going to edit our first one. Right now it's a one by one. And I want to work, I'm looking at this right now, and I want to turn it into a two by two. And so now it's asking me to plug in the values. So I'm going to plug in one and one, negative two and four. Next, I'm going to go click on second, matrix again and I'm going to edit our second matrix which is the 3 and negative 48 so right now it's a 1 by 1 I want to turn that into a 1 by or a 2 by 1 so I'm going to plug in 3 and negative 48 go to second quit to go to the main screen and now this is when we're going to do our calculation, or when our calculator is going to do the calculation. I'm going to go to second matrix, select the first one, and then do the inverse of that with this button right here. And then I'm going to multiply that with our second matrix. So I click second um, matrix, and I scroll down to our second one, and that's going to give us our second matrix. Multiply the two, and you're given with 10 and negative 7. The 10 goes with our A value, and the negative 7 goes with our B value. So what you're left with is this right here. 10 over x plus 4 plus negative 7 over x minus 2. All right, and now we're going to go into our second example. This is the problem right here. I found the factors of our denominator to be x squared and x squared plus 16. I turn it into our fractions, and I multiplied everything by the denominator, and this is what we get at the very end. x cubed times a plus 16xa plus x squared b plus 16b plus x cubed times c plus x squared d is equal to our numerator. So for this one, we have an A, B, C, and D variable. So that means we're gonna have four columns for this, and our highest power is X to the third. <laughs> so we're gonna have four rows. 
because if we look down here, we have the first row is going to be x to the third, our second row is going to be x to the second, third row is going to be our x, and our fourth row is going to be c. So I'm going to put everything into our matrix. We only have one x to the third times a, so I'm going to put it here. We have 16x times a, so I'm going to put the 16 here. We only have one x to the second times b, so I'm going to put the one right here. We have 16b, that's a constant, so 16 goes here. x to the third times c, put the one here. x to the second times d, put the one here. And now, I'm going to set up our second matrix right here. And the same rules are going to apply where the first row is going to be x to the third, and then you're going to go down in descending order of power. And so I put the 6 here, 7 here, 80 here, and 64 right here. And now we're going to plug this matrix into our calculator. Just make sure you guys can see it and stuff. So I'll go to second matrix, edit our first one, change the dimensions to be a 4 by 4 and I start plugging in our number. 1, 0, 1, 0, second row, 0, 1, 0, 1, third row, 16, 0, 0, 0, fourth row, 0, 16, 0, 0. And now I'm going to edit our second matrix. So I'm going to second matrix, edit. Go to our second one, change the dimensions to be a four by one. And now I'm gonna plug in six, seven, 80, and 64. Go to second quit to go to the main menu. And then I'm going to grab our first one. Make sure you do the inverse and I'm going to multiply it by our second matrix. And now you're given the answer of 5, 4, 1, and 3. So the 5 will go with our A, our B is 4, our C is 1, and our D is 3. And so, when you write it out, this is what you're going to get. And there you go.